Delibird, a Pokemon that completely embodies Christmas and is one of my favorite little bundles of joy from the Johto region. And now, Pokemon Violet has given us future paradox forms of certain Pokemon, Delibird being one of them. This is Iron Bundle, a mechanical menace that just so happens to resemble Delibird. Now, I haven't made a proper video about the paradox Pokemon as a whole, but the basics are that they come from either the past or the future, and bear striking resemblances to Pokemon in the modern day. Point is that Delibird and Iron Bundle are two completely different Pokemon, though they are connected through lore, but what exactly is that? When we take a step back and look at Delibird itself, the findings are rather curious. Because it is very clearly inspired by Santa Claus, of course the actual role that it plays in the game doesn't build it up as this mythical being, but instead shows it as an average helpful Pokemon, sharing food with people who are either lost or in dangerous situations, and in the anime it's used for a delivery service. And even in the anime, later on when Santa Claus appears again, he now has a Delibird to help him deliver gifts rather than, well, you know. But this right here makes for a great connection. Because yes, Delibird very clearly looks like Santa Claus, but doesn't replace him outright. Because a single non-legendary Pokemon wouldn't be on par with a magical eternal being. But having them work together is a perfect way to give purpose to Delibird while still having it being a regular Pokemon. You could even say that Santa based his clothing off of the Delibird that he met and eventually started delivering presents with. But of course, this is just the anime. Santa Claus doesn't exist in the video games? Are you sure about that? Well, if Delibird exists at all, there's quite a bit of explaining to do because of its design, and especially when we start getting into Iron Bundle, which is, uh, well, this thing is a monster stat-wise, so it's already really funny. For the most part, it looks like a robotic version of Delibird, similar to its future Pokemon peers. But the exact details of its design are really clever. While looking like a Santa penguin we all know and love, the feet have now taken the shape of skis. The tail resembles a snow globe, and the Pokemon itself is even a jack-in-the-box toy with how its head just pops off. With these extra details being so unique to a robotic Pokemon, it's actually able to even better embody the Christmas theme. By the way, huge thank you to my IRL friend Wasteman for the footage of Iron Bundle and even trading me one to my Scarlet version. Though I find it so interesting how the Pokedex entries vary between Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Because these two games exist separately, with one having future Pokemon and the other having prehistoric. Their perceptions of each other are so warped. In Pokemon Violet, whenever they mention a future form, it just says how they resemble Pokemon described in the Violet book. But Pokemon Scarlet creates fantastical rumors about their origins. And the same is sort of true for ancient Pokemon in Violet. They literally cannot comprehend each other's unique Pokemon. And so that brings us to the Scarlet Pokedex entry for Iron Bundle. We read, its shape is similar to a robot featured in a Paranormal Magazine article. The robot was said to have been created by an ancient civilization. That just places Iron Bundle as an ancient Pokemon despite the fact it's obviously a sentient automaton. Again, the Scarlet Pokedex entry is just reiterating a complete rumor, but it got me thinking and I developed a crack theory. What if Santa Claus invented Iron Bundle? Now hear me out, I know that sounds insane, but let's look at it through the eyes of the average Scarlet Universe inhabitant. You see this Pokemon, it very clearly has a Christmas theme and even looks a little like Delibird, which you know Santa Claus is already friendly with. You figure that it must have been created by the man himself, used to even more efficiently deliver presents, and that might explain why they are so rarely seen. That is the completely non-scientific explanation for Iron Bundle. So not saying that Santa Claus himself for sure exists in the main series games, but what if the idea of Santa Claus does, and is just one of the things used to explain away the existence of such a strange Pokemon? I mean, even as we see in Pokemon Masters, which is sort of soft canon to the main series games, they have a Christmas-like holiday, and there have been several other real-world connections in past Pokemon games. So who's to say a small amount of people in the video games don't actually believe in Santa? Yeah, I have no idea if that tangent was even really worth mentioning, but I just found it hilarious how transporting a Pokemon from one universe to another causes such outlandish conclusions to be made as we see in the Pokemon Scarlet Pokedex. The truth is that Iron Bundle, along with its fellow future Paradox Pokemon, seem to be hinting toward the singularity. Whether all Pokemon have been adapted into robotic creatures or only some of them have, it's fascinating that Delibird is among them. Perhaps in the future there's been a second Ice Age at some point, and ensuring the survival of a Pokemon capable of traversing harsh climates to carry food like Delibird was critical. And so it was one of the Pokemon adapted into a mechanized form with much better stats to make sure 
sure it was able to do the job even better, enhanced by the power of science. That's at least one idea because these Pokemon are so intriguing in the sense that there's no real explanation for their exact origins. Were they created by humans or something else? But Iron Bundle especially just has such a fun design that amazingly does justice to the original Delibird, incorporating even more winter and Christmas elements. And the fact that it's actually an amazing force to be reckoned with in battle makes it all the more hilarious. Like I said, I've always liked Delibird, there's always just such a charm to it. The Delibird that appeared in the anime alongside Team Rocket was such a great source of comedy that even got to stick around, appearing in episodes on and off regardless of any Christmas theming. And actually just kind of popping back in to talk about this episode because I realized I'm probably not going to be discussing it for a while, specifically on its own. And this video kind of became a Daily Bird retrospective like I do for other Pokemon. So this episode is do's and don'ts. It mostly follows Team Rocket as they meet an actual recruiter for Team Rocket with a Deli Bird. She tells them that technically they aren't even members of Team Rocket anymore because they haven't been paying their dues. So to prove themselves, they battle Ash, Brock, and Misty yet again, though this time with the Deli Bird on their side. The episode mostly serves as a way to show off Deli Bird's unique move present. And it's actually pretty funny because Deli Bird kind of gives Pikachu a run for its money during the battle, nearly completely beating it up until one of the presents actually heals Pikachu, showing the nature of the move. Or at least how it was intended to work back then. By the end of it, Jesse, James, and Meowth are still with Team Rocket and Deli Bird parts ways with them, showing up every once in a while to continue collecting those payments. I thought it would have been pretty interesting had they ended up keeping Deli Bird, though I still like that it shows up every once in a while, even getting a shout out in the visuals for the opening. Like I said, it's a pretty neat little episode, but I mostly love it for introducing one of my favorite elements of the anime at the time. And I have so many memories playing the minigame in Pokemon Stadium 2, which really adds to the Yuletide aesthetic. Genuinely one of the best minigames in the entire series and I will fight anyone who says otherwise. I am just glad that so many Johto Pokemon are getting a second chance in modern Pokemon, and I guess in the case of Delibird future Pokemon. These two are just the perfect ones to keep around during the holidays, whether you like soft and fluffy or cool and shiny. But let me know what you think of Iron Bundle and its possible connection to the main series games because just like the move present, literally anything is possible. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the Great Gators. Jackson, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Michaela, Mr. Pig Puncher, Phantom Pyro, Quago, Volady, and Pastel Blood. If you would like to get your name shouted out here, as well as access to emotes for comments and live streams, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes. Anyway, this has been Gatorax, and I wish you all happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas. I'll catch you all later. And now, more from the Warner Choir on the Kids WB Kooky Carol Fest. Joy to meow, the wild will say. Those paws, those jaws, those claws. Let every Pokemon kiss the ground that I walk on. I'm cuter than a Pikachu, and I got my very own igloo. And it smells sweet, it smells sweet, because he shampoos. Smell me! Stay tuned for more of the Kids WB Kooky Carol Fest.